Hi, my name is Dr. Rob Ward. Welcome to another video segment in the RedoxDoc.com video lecture series. This topic today is about psoriasis. And although we've talked about skin specifically, this is a big problem. And it's not rare. It does affect a lot of people. And, um, and the best part is there's some real great solutions at a cell level. So let's talk about psoriasis for a minute. Um, it affects about 3% of the population around the world and uh, men and women are affected equally. 3%. That ain't small. Um, it is characterized by patchy or scaly rash patches on our skin. Um, it affects nails and it can even affect our whole body in our internal organs like our joints. Psoriatic arthritis is very serious. This condition is genetic in nature. Twins um, have a three times greater chance of having psoriasis, so it's clearly connected to our DNA. But there are huge triggers that affect us. For example, it is triggered by um, winter months for some reason. It is triggered by stress, emotional stress, physical stress. Um, it is also triggered by chronic infections. People who have chronic strep uh, like strep throat infections or even skin infections can trigger um, a psoriasis uh, outbreak. In fact, this very week I had a patient who has had many infections on her skin um, multiple times and now in her 40s has turned up with psoriasis. Pretty serious case. So um, the normal treatments, um, steroid creams take care of probably 80% of cases and they work very well. Um, they are safe, they're, they're used properly and will calm down and eliminate many if not all of the plaques and, and rashes that people have. Uh, ultraviolet light therapy is very helpful. Um, vitamin D cream, interesting works. Um, uh, application of tar uh, to the skin can help. And um, so whether we use um, a, a more systemic approach or even just topical uh, creams, um, much of the time this is helpful, but wouldn't it be great if we could kind of get, get at the root of this thing and maybe even just reverse the whole process? Well, it's possible. So there's this interesting interplay between our genes, the immune system, the environment like cold weather and things like that, and our cell physiology. They're all swirling around in this pot we call life, and our bodies have to interact with, with so many factors, and so what if we could just get right to the cell level and do something about it? So um, I stumbled into some interesting research pertaining to redox biology and the, uh, the interaction between the immune system which produces cytokine chemicals and oxidants that show up as pollutants in our cells. So our cells um, have a lot of cross talk. They talk to each other. And at a cellular level, um, cells will warn one another about what's going on. They talk to each other. They try and support each other. And that communication process involves the use of little molecules called redox molecules. They are the first messengers um, to alert the immune system that there's something wrong. Let's say there's a, uh, an invasion of a, a germ or a foreign object. It's going to cause an oxidative burst and the immune system gets called into action. Well, this is going on all the time. So chemicals called inflammatory cytokines are produced by the immune system when there's concern and worry. And the, de the dealing with uh, oxidants that can build up in the cells, all of this is constantly in swirl. All right. So in this particular study, they looked at treating of the, 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 the serious conditions like psoriasis with oral antioxidants and anti-inflammatory cytokine neutralizing antibodies. Big bunch of words. And what they discovered is that when um, these were applied, either orally or topically, there was a huge change in uh, the body's cellular crosstalk. And they measured that chemically. And so it's kind of fun to, to contemplate that we can, um, when we affect that immune system and when we can upregulate the production of our antioxidants by taking supplements like nutraceuticals, um, we can change our biology 
and all of a sudden the, the physiology is, is in, improved, the immune system is strengthened, and that has a way of changing the impact of environmental factors and the expression of genes. And um, as I've mentioned in other talks, our, our DNA is subject to expression according to how our cells are functioning. And we'll either switch on the right genes or switch them off. So what can we do um, at a cellular level to support these kinds of processes and to eliminate all this stress and help this, this biology soup, so to speak, to work better? My favorite place to begin is right at the molecular level and provide resources like redox molecules to support our cells. So when we provide a stabilized form of redox molecules that have equal components of positive and negatively charged molecules that are stabilized, our cells will make use of them. And the place they make use of them is mainly in helping get rid of the buildup of too many oxidants in a cell. There's supposed to be an equal balance. And if the positives are built up, that's oxidative stress. That's a result of the failure of an antioxidant to clean them up, take care of that. And that failure, uh, this, this buildup of oxidants that this study showed, can be helped. So if we, if we provide a resource, a supplement, to our body of molecules that are equal, and we just infuse that into a cell, can you see what ha happens? All of a sudden, there's a normalization happening. And if we do this each and every day, our body has a bath in balance at a cell level. So all of a sudden, downstream, things are working right. We're expressing our genetic potential. Our redox potential is, is balanced and our genetic potential is expressed. Um, nutrients are absorbed more efficiently. Our sleep cycles are enhanced. Um, and our ability to exercise and do work and to think and focus all of these things are enhanced and by doing so we support our biology from the inside out and that allows us to be in a position to make choices in our day-to-day -day life in fact when we when we start to feel the impact of these molecules at a cellular level and 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 frankly the infusion process can happen topically redox molecules can be supplemented right where you need them uh, topically today. And so um, you're infusing this into your biology and that allows for your body to all of a sudden see a glimmer of hope. And I believe and I've witnessed people who experience that little glimmer of hope and it engenders faith in doing the right things for their own life and taking the next step in choosing the right foods and getting into a little exercise and making sure they're getting the rest and, and not having as much worry. So I hope that helps you kind of get a feel for this condition psoriasis, the interplay that it has um, with expressing genes, our environment, and what we can do at a cellular level to supplement our bodies either internally or topically with the balance of these little tiny little molecules and just let them bathe ourselves in balance. Well, we'll see you at the next lecture. I hope this has been helpful.